Okay. So for today, we will be discussing photographic paper. This is another sensitized material. Kung maalala ninyo yung topic natin last time is about films. Okay. So that is one type of sensitized material. Then again, the other one is etong topic natin today. So photographic paper, uh, ito yung parts niya or yung description niya. The result of photography in its final form is the photograph. Yun na yun, yung makikita mo, yung hawak mo na, na recorded na moment, yung na-capture na moment, that is the photograph. Then, one material necessary to produce a photograph or positive print. It has emulsion that is coated with opaque material like paper. So, um, when we say photographic paper, dito natin piniprint yung nakuha nating picture. Dito natin tinatransfer yung nakuha nating negative image. Then, it is converted into a positive image. So, basic layers of printing paper. We have emulsion layer. This is the layer containing minute silver suspended in gelatin and the layer of chemical needed to reproduce the opposite tone of the negative print. Kasi nga, i-convert niya into positive. So, mababaligtad kung ano man yung tones na nandoon sa ating negative. Okay. And katulad sa film, ang emulsion layer is also responsible for recording the images. Then the second is the barita layer, a gelatin containing barita crystals to increase the reflectivity of the paper. And then the base. Uh, it is made of hardened white paper which must be chemically pure to ensure that it will not interfere with the chemical processes to which the emulsion is subjected. Doon sa film, ang base natin is usually polyester. But in printing paper, of course, paper. Okay. At sinasabi nga dyan, kailangan chemically pure para hindi siya hahalo doon sa chemicals na gagamitin natin para ma-develop yung photo paper na yun. So, these are the types of photographic paper based on the emulsion used. First is the silver chloride paper. This contains silver chloride emulsion. Siyempre. Diba? Grained and produce deep black images. This is used for contact printing. Pag sinabi kasing contact printing, kung ano yung size ng film ay sharing size ng photo paper. Uh, its sensitivity to light is low. Generally, the size of positive print is the same as the size of the negative use. Yun ang sinasabi ko. And usually, it will give a blue-black tone if properly developed. Okay. Silver bromide paper. Siyempre, yung emulsion niya, silver bromide. Then, light sensitivity of this type is faster than the silver chloride paper. The photographic paper is used for projection printing or enlarging process uh, wherein the negative image is projected or enlarged. Pag sinabing uh, projector, di ba, yung ginagamit natin sa school, Usually, nanggagaling yan sa isang device. Sabihin na natin laptop. Tapos kapag uh, kinonect natin sa projector, mapapalaki niya kung ano man yung nandoon sa laptop. Ganun din ang um, um, projection printing. Pinalalaki niya yung uh, image. Kasi yung negative, di ba? Maliit lang siya. But then, yung mga pictures natin, pwedeng iba-ibang size. Pwedeng A4, di ba? Pwedeng wallet size, depende. Pero, yun na nga, maliit lang ang film, but it can be enlarged. And ang isa sa mga ginagamit na papel for printing is silver bromide paper. Okay. Uh, if properly developed, the silver bromide paper will give a black tone. Then we have silver chlorobromide paper. Oh, hulaan nyo. Kung saan gawa yung, yung emulsion niya. Mixture na siya ng chloro, uh, ano to? chloride and bromide. 
kaya chlorobromide. So this contains a combination of silver chloride emulsion and its emulsion speed lies between that of chloride and bromide papers used for both contact and projection printing. Balikan natin. Pag silver chloride kasi, sabi dito, it is used for contact printing, then sensitivity to light is low. While in silver bromide, it is used for projection printing. And is, its light sensitivity is faster than silver chloride. Etong si silver chlorobromide nasa gitna. Okay, silver chloride, silver chlorobromide, and then silver bromide. Yan yung sa speed nila. Kay speed ng emulsion. And then, pwedeng, since nasa gitna siya, pwede siyang for contact printing and also projection printing. The sensitivity of this paper is either slow or fast. So, sakto lang. The slow emulsion is used for contact printing while the fast emulsion is used for projection printing. Then, we have variable contrast paper. This combines the contrast ranges in one paper. It uses a special chlorobromide emulsion that produces varying contrast responses upon exposure to different colored light. And then, uh, another is classification of contrast range. So we have low contrast, usually suitable to a very high contrast negative to produce a normal print or photograph. We also have normal and medium contrast. We also have high or hard contrast. Suitable to a very low contrast negative to compensate for lack of brilliance and produce a normal print or photograph. And we also have very hard or extra hard contrast. So, ganito yan. Kapag low contrast ang paper, gagamitin mo yon sa high contrast na negative para mag-compensate, mag-meet sila sa gitna, magiging normal yung print. Kapag low contrast naman, ang negative, gagamit ka dapat ng high contrast na photo paper para mag-compensate nga, mag sila sa middle, and then magpo-produce sila ng normal print or normal photograph. Okay. Then, uh, types of photo paper according to its physical characteristics. So we have, first is weight. Merong lightweight, single weight, and double weight. So lightweight, these are used when the thickness of the paper is not a consideration and high degree of flexibility is necessary. Kung baga, gusto mo yung medyo manipis lang siya, wavy, kaya niyang mag-wave. <laughs> Hindi mahalaga sa'yo na makapal siya. So you can use lightweight. Then we also have single weight. Our, this are paper used for small print or print which need to be mounted on solid and fine details are necessary in the production. This is used for ordinary photographic purposes. So, kung hindi naman siya uh, for other purposes maliban sa gusto mo lang ng record, usually single weight ang ginagamit na uh, photo paper. Then we have double weight. So, generally used for large prints because they stand up better under rough treatment. Siyempre, kung double weight siya, kailangan uh, uh, magamit ito for large prints. Okay? Then, according to surface texture, yung finish niya, glossy papers, these are referred where fine detail and brilliant images are required. We also have semi-matte papers. These are with the de decided textures which obscure fine details and rough papers. This is used for large prints or where breadth rather than detail is necessary. So when, when uh, we use uh, photo papers for evidence kapag nagprint tayo ng picture, ang ginagamit ng mga law enforcers is glossy na paper. Yung smooth siya. Kasi, Sabi nga dyan, fine detail and brilliant images are uh, required. Ang, ang preferred photo paper is uh, glossy papers. Kasi kung matte, ito yung magaspang. Yun. Kasi kung magaspang siya, na-obscure o natatakpan yung mga fine details. Okay. 
And then according to color, so white are preferred for cold effect. Cream are preferred for pictorial effect. Uh, portraits, landscapes, or when warmth effect is desired. And buff papers are preferred for tone prints. Then we have grade the photographic papers. Because of the fact that all negative do not print best on one kind of paper. Kasi nga, ba? May low contrast negative, may, hand, may high contrast negative. Kaya hindi isang papel lang ang pwedeng pagprintan. And in order to permit printing for special effects, photographic papers is made in different in several different grades of contrast and surface texture. Velox paper made by Kodak offers the following degrees of contrast and glossy surface. So Velox number zero used for printing from extremely contrast negatives. The low contrast in the paper sensitizing counteracts the high contrast in the negative to give a new print. Then uh, Velox number one is used for high contrast negative. Okay, ibig sabihin, low contrast paper ang zero at ang one. Ulit. Ang Velox number zero at number one ay low contrast na paper. Kaya nga mas mababa yung number nila, di ba? Kaya, saan mo sila gagamitin? Sa high contrast na negative. Para nga, mag sila sa middle, magiging normal yung print natin. Then, Velox number two is a paper for normal contrast Used with normal negatives. Then we have Velox number 3. Used for negatives that have weak contrast. And then Velox number 4 provides for sufficient contrast to compensate for very thin or weak negatives. It is useful in printing pictures which high contrast is desired. And number 5, for flat negatives that are unprintable. So 3, 4, 5. Eto, kapag low contrast ang negative, dun mo sila gagamitin. Kasi mas mataas yung number nila, ibig sabihin, high contrast paper sila. Okay, sana gets nyo yun. So the choice of photographic paper for printing will depend upon the purpose of photographs to be made. Of course, depende kung saan mo gagamitin yung print. Tsaka ka mamimili kung anong photo paper ang gagamitin mo. Black and white objects are usually printed in a white base photographic paper. For portrait photograph, a cream paper base photographic paper is usually used. Kasi nga, pag cream, medyo mas malapit sa skin tone ng tao, di ba? Ayan. Then for law enforcement photography, katulad nung nabanggit natin kanina, smooth photo paper is necessary. Kaya kailangan glossy photo paper ang gagamitin mo for printing uh, pictures of evidence. And that's it.